So this video is just going over the host part of a party order. So let's take a look. I added in a few more orders to the party I already started for Bethany. Can you select host order? It's gonna bring you to a screen that will tell you both names. Now, if there is any sale items or items in addition to whatever she earned for a party benefit that she would like to purchase, those items go into the item entry that you see here. A pop-up will always happen asking if you wanna add poly bags and catalogs. Um, I only add these items when there's a new catalog that happens because they've got the old one and if there's going to be orders shipped to their homes. If not, I don't add them because this is taking out of my profit when I do. And then it brings you to the party retail items. Now, this party has $531 in no datings. What that means is all the extra host bonuses that are down here, she did not qualify for because we did not have those two extra datings. If you forgot to add them, you can always go up to Quick Links and add the new dating up there to be able to add it to it. From there, you can select whatever thank you option is available. That's the, currently, it's on page five of the summer catalog. It may change depending on when you see this video. And this dating gift is something that they're using at the moment that helps support digital parties. This option may not be here by the time you see this video. From there, your hostess has the ability to select free and half off items. At the $300 level, it's 10% and one half off item. At the $500 level, it's 15% and two half off items. And at the $1,000 level, it's 20% and three half off items. So Bethany would have the ability to be able to select $80 of host credits, which is like a gift card out of the catalog. And she can only pick regularly priced items, nothing on sale. Those regularly priced items can also be half off. So again, I just go to the item search. I can go to regularly priced and I'm going to select some modular mates because she is going to go to college. And I'm going to select her half off items to be See, I got $36 remaining, and I'm going to put her half off item as Fridge Smarts because they are super smart. And she wants the Micro Pro Grill for her dorm room, which she highly recommends for um, our wonderful new uh, college people because they end up being able to have no hot plates, but everybody tends to have a microphone. So I'm going to find that microphone grill. Oh, there's the right one. If you accidentally select the wrong one, it does tell you every single time, and that's what that does. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to select half off item for that. And there you go. So I have $36 left to spend. One of the ways that you could take care of that is you can add more and people can go over. If they go over, then they just have the ability to pay the difference. So let's make it go over just a little bit so you can see what that's like. So I'm going over by $14, I just pay the difference. When you click next, it tells you if you have anything missing and then it tells you the total. Now, I do not get um, any kind of commission off of the half off item, but it does go towards what our final benefit is um, for our bonuses at the end of the month because Tupperware is paying for half the cost. From there, it tells me what my total party retail is. Now, this was a $500 party, but the retail value is $691 because of those two half off items. I did not collect any credit cards, so I would need to enter my payment information here. Again, making sure that everything is correct before clicking submit. What I do want you to notice is these party benefits. Because the party went over $250, when I make my next sales aid order, I'll be able to have $3.46 to go towards the catalogs and flyers and other items that I buy that are considered sales aids. So one last item to note. If you are placing, if 
only if less than $100 is being sent to the host in product, there is an additional fee at this time of $5. If you don't want to pay that $5 yourself, you can click the box to have it be direct shipped to the hostess. That is completely up to you. If you do choose to have that $5 be taken upon yourself, make sure you write it off as a tax deduction. I hope this training has been helpful for you. Remember, nothing is submitted until you put in your password a second time. And it's very important that you always watch the due dates so you don't miss out on whatever is on sale at that time period. Thank you for joining us and let us know in the company Facebook group what you liked about this training.